Alright, so I took a break, calmed down a bit, and had a black grab a coke, and did a bit of research. And, uh, I gotta say, there's a lot of sources on the internet of how to, um, research a lot of the mechanics in Pokemon, but this one gets a special mention because this helped me actually quite a bit. The Dragonfly Cave, and I'm actually going to put a link to this particular oh, page in the description because this page I found goes over pretty much all of the mechanics of um, the Safari Zone. And I'm not going to explain them all here because they're actually pretty complicated, but it also has a calculator to show you your chances of catching a certain Pokemon given what strategy you're using and how many balls you have left. And uh, as it turns out, the most effective strategy is to completely forget the rock and the bait exist. <laughs> yep, my best chance is to just throw balls at it. Which... Now, this isn't one-to-one -one accurate, but... Apparently, <laughs> just throwing balls at it gives me my best chance at around about... 20% before it runs away or I run out of balls. And that there is my luck. Not even 20% is nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, a Pokemon's chances of running also seem to be based off their speed, and, and especially unfortunately for me, those Scythers seems to, uh, seem to be speedy enough for f***ers that they got damn near a 50% chance of running on every turn. God help me. <laughs> Alright. Somehow it did not take me too long to find another one. Alright, so let's just keep throwing the balls at it. I had a feeling that this would be the most effective thing. But, uh... Now that I've actually looked at all the calculations and stuff, I... Damn, I really do believe it. <laughs> Just gonna throw the balls and I hope my luck actually turns around at some point tonight. Well, that is how I caught most of the stuff so far, so that should have been a fair enough sign. And then there's that. Alright. Let's try this again. Hoping I don't get continue to get f***ed over for too much longer. And then I've said that, it's going to run away as soon as that happens. Wow. have a much better chance of catching than the Scyther, because not only are you a bit slower, you're also a bit of a lower level. That still doesn't mean I'm going to catch you right now. I can only hope. Mm -hmm. Hasn't run away yet. Now that I've said that, it's going to run away in the next turn. Or not. Throw balls like a madman! No. <laughs> Alright, another pincer. I should mention before, that from before when the, um, the 20% I mentioned, that was only my chance of catching a Scyther before it ran away. Which hasn't gone too well for me, as you've clearly seen. My chance per throwing, my, or catching it per ball is more like 10%-ish. But Pinsa, I don't know, I don't have that information readily available for me. <laughs> I should also mention that the bait, the um, bait rock ball um, strategy, the Stephen George method, um, in this game it actually makes my chance of capturing the Pokemon less. So, uh, thanks Stephen. Oh, 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 yes! 
Wow, it takes care of Pinsa. <laughs> Alrighty. The Stag Beetle Pokemon. Grips its prey in its pincers and squeezes hard. It can't move if it's out cold, so it lives in warm places. Oh, not if it's out cold, if it's cold. If it's cold, it can't move. Whatever. I caught the pincer. <laughs> With the 1% encounter rate. <laughs> now, all that's left is the Scyther. Now, granted, I have a better chance of catching the damn thing if I go back to Area 2. Area 2? No, Area 1. Because they only show up as level 15 there, but 1% encounter rate, and I'm not that lucky. Alright, here's another one. Let's see how I do this time. This is getting worse than the goddamn Tauros. I think. God, I've lost... F***ing hell. I don't know how much time has passed for um, me trying to catch the Scyther, especially with the nearly six hour break I took in between recording. <laughs> Alright, once again. The thing that sucks about Scyther is that its catch rate is like 45 or something. I feel in a situation where I can't deplete its health or give it any status conditions, my chances of catching it are very low. And even still, I need to press on because it's the only one I'm going to get in this game without forking out mon more money than I actually have at the moment for coins at the game coiner. 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 <laughs> I'm from Joyzy. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on! Once again. Alright. Let's keep this up. I at least caught the pincer. But then again, it doesn't exactly help my chances here. I'm still only ever getting one shake out of this frickin' thing. And then there's that. Actually, move on now. Ah, Scyther, the fing <laughs> mantis Pokemon. <laughs> Leaps out a tall grass and slices prey with its size. The movement looks like that of a ninja. No, f no. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I've got a fair few steps left. Alright, I've caught everything I want. Time to throw these bad boys up. <laughs> right, will they even work? I mean... Yeah, they'll work. <laughs> Alright, but now that's done. We can move on to area 3, which... I don't know if this is it. This might be the entrance. No, I think this is the entrance. Yeah, this is the entrance. <laughs> so, I just wasted a ton of steps. Area 3... Would be down... This way? Yeah. How many steps do I have? 120. Alright. So this... Training tips. Zone exploration campaign. Search for the secret house. There goes Rappel's effect. That's alright. Hopefully I can get to the secret house first, because that'll make coming back here a... pretty simple, I think. Alright. What's this item here? 
Max Revive. Awesome. Now... Hmm. So I'm just getting myself reoriented here. So that there, I'm pretty sure is the secret house. So that's where we want to go. But I'm about to run out of steps. This here should be a Pokemon. Anyway, Max Potion. Now, do I still have steps? 33. Okay. I, oh, it's just a rest house. It's not even the secret house. Or is it? Yeah, no, I don't want to toss rocks anymore. It's unreliable. <laughs> And definitely never want to do that. There it goes. <laughs> god damn it. Thank god I don't have to look for any more Pokemon. <laughs> but I'm not done in there just yet. Alright, so back here in Area 2, um, we just went down south of us now to get to Area 3 before, and that's where we, well, just were and got that stuff, but... If you want to get, um, gain access to the rest of it, we need to come up here next to the uh, rest house we were near before. And, um, and we need to go along this upper path where we got that protein earlier. Keep going along this way. Grass. I've just run out of repels trying to get back in here. God damn it. <laughs> what does this say? China tips. Secret house. Secret house. To say. Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's lost gold teeth. Ah, so they're not just dentures, they're shiny whiteies. <laughs> they're, not, they're not even white. Hmm. I wonder where they could be. Everyone in this world's an idiot! getting pretty close now. This is TM32 Double Team Races Your Evasion. And this is the Secret House. Hello there, sir. I'm apparently the first person to reach here. <laughs> and our prize, HMO3 Surf. This will allow us to travel along water and it's one of the, one of the better water type moves in the game. So good, in fact, that I'm actually going to teach that to Shenron right now. That will uh, replace Bubble Beam. So let's boot that bad boy up and give it to Shenron. Yes, I get the picture. And I shall get rid of Bubble Beam. Alright, so we now have Surf. We can surf across water now. Now, which one of these statues? One of these has... Oh, I'm getting my east and west confused again. Why do I keep doing that? This statue has a revive. Alright, now we're nearly done here. So I'm going to put our new Surf to use. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> now if I can get out of here without attracting any more Pokemon. I don't know what I did, but the Marowaks are pissed in there after me. <laughs> um, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know if there's an exit out to the entrance area in this place. I don't think there is. Oh, there is! How much time do I have left? Oh, can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. Oh, that's the wrong... There we go. Final item! You gotta be kidding me. 
Again? Fine. What can I... I don't have more revives. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna toss double team then. Like, I'd rather sell the TNs rather than toss them away, but I really don't want to come back in here. Alright, we have our nugget. Now, let's get the ever-living hell out of dodge. How many stats do I have left? Ten? Ah, screw you all! Nope, nope. Ah, God damn it. Yeah, take all of them, I don't care. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Now, what did we get from that? A whole bunch of healing items. We're gonna need to give back those gold teeth. I'm gonna go and sell this nugget really quickly. And then I'm gonna go over to the warden's house so to get these teeth back. Alright, now we're back here in the warden's house. We'll talk to him and give him his gold teeth. Now he can talk properly again. Awesome. Why do your dentures need to be gold though? I mean... It's not exactly the greatest of fashion statements. And if we give them back, he'll give us HMO4, which is the move Strength. Which I need to give to a Pokemon. Now who would I give that to? I'm gonna talk to the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm gonna be right back. Alright. So now that I got the Pokemon I wanted to learn this, we'll use that on Goat. Learn Strength. And now, go to this boulder, use Strength. And now, just push it out of the way. And in its place is a rare candy, which I am going to immediately give to Goat because he is very much underleveled. <laughs> Alright, but this is quite the momentous occasion we got here, guys, because if I can just get everyone in order here, we have our completed team. 221 the Pikachu, DK the Primeape, Shenron the Gyarados, Shikamaru the Alakazam, Hugh Draw the Dodrio, and Goat the Tauros. Our team is now complete. Goat needs a bit of leveling, but it'll get there eventually. But with that being said, I've been recording for like three hours total today. I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we got through the Safari Zone. Thank God for that. And we got. I need a little break. And well, that's what we're gonna do. And next time, because next time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, we are gonna be doing a bit of cleanup now that we have the move Surf. Um, there's not really too much to do with the um strength at the moment but now that we have surf there's a lot of stuff that we can go back to do and with it we can progress toward the next major city so i'll take care of all that next time but until then guys thank you all so much for watching my name is matt omega and i'll see you guys later now if you don't mind i need to sift through about three hours of footage i'm gonna need another jar of peanut butter